good morning here today at Khao Nang Pantarat National Park it's a small oh, forest park it's a small forest park very very close to Chatham Beach I don't know why I've never heard of this place but <clears throat> we're looking for places to go on the way back to Bangkok and maybe stay another day and we found this one it's got I think three or four viewpoints a bit of a climb loads of monkeys let's get into it we're heading about 10 minutes up the road today to a place called Khao Nang Pantarat Forest Park, which I've actually heard or I've read described as a magical entryway into Thai literature because here is the setting of Thai folktale Sang Dong. Back in 1996, the late great King Rama IX, King Bumibot Abdul Yadet, ordered a helicopter to fly to Klai Klangwang Palace. And as he flew over, he noticed that some parts of Khao Pantarat were crumbling. He thus had authorities forest the 1560 rye land before it was designated as a national heritage site in 1999. So that future generations can come to learn about natural resources and the history of Thai literature. Uh, here we are right at the start of the walking trail and you can see what the, what the terrain's like. We have the, the limestone cast cliffs and rock well, the looks very well and this is beautiful I think after we finish we'll uh, we'll grab a drink and relax here for a bit it's like a lovely manicured park look beautiful look okay so the first little climb we're gonna go here up to the Pantarat mirror yeah. it's gonna have a butchers I think that was num the mirror was number five on the map. I think the details for number five. Yeah, this is three, four, and five up here. Yeah. Right. Wow! If I ever build a house, I'm using these bricks right here. Look at these. five already really easy climb what a beautiful spot I can't believe I never came out here just to hang out down in the gardens at the bottom and this you can probably apologies for the wind I don't have the wind sucking the mic on today but what sounds terrible audio for you is beautiful weather for me so so we're gonna to go to all of these Viewpoints here. Look. Well, the furthest one is 1.2 kilometers away, but take that with a pinch of salt. And I think, by the looks of it, we're going to be going straight up now as well. We told when we come in here, we've got to keep quiet as well. There's lots of wildlife about monkeys, fishing cats, and that kind of thing. So there we go. Look. Okay, let's get into this nature trail then. The sign back there in Thai actually said, be quiet in case you wake the giants of the mountain. What a pleasant little trail that goes up through the woods here. I think they're probably at number six already, the, the well. Let's have a look. I'm sure Thai people that studied literature will be pretty au fait with this. I guess we've got a resting station there. I think families must come here. That's going to be for the slightly less fit people or slightly older people. So we're going to go up now to Lang Kwap Gao. Oi! Didn't even see him, look. Langer. Langer, look. Dusky Langer. Spectacled Langer. Didn't even see them there. Look, there they are. Little rascals. I think Carl's about to get mugged for his water here. He's standing there without a care in the world. They've all, they're right on top of him there. They've spotted his water and they're deciding whether to molest him or not. But uh, I'm sure they'll work that out very soon. We, we do have this one section that goes pretty steep up, but again, You've got to do a bit of that to get the views, haven't you?
I'm going to go to Sang Dong Holy Well. This was a, a well for trapping elephants, apparently. It's a slightly different kind of terrain again today, but uh, really enjoyable. Um, pretty hot, pretty humid, but uh, got plenty of water and uh, can rest on the way out. We're just about to go up again now. We've got about 300 meters up here to Sang Tong Holy Well. Not too difficult, just um, hot. Anyway, this type of rock, as I mentioned before, this jagged limestone is pretty, pretty sharp and literally just touch your knuckle on there and it'll take the skin off. I'll be careful on this bit because this stuff hurts. So, a bit of scrambling to do now before we get up to Sang Tong's Holy Well. There's a large hole about two square kilometers wide, 150 meters deep, cliff surrounding the whole area let's have a look oops let's try not to kill ourselves first oh this could be pretty spectacular Oi. Oi. jesus look at this old wood they've got on here i'm gonna have to be careful here i get a bit i get a bit over brave sometimes Go look at that right on the edge of a gorge. Look 150 meters deep, two kilometers square. Right, I'm just going to see if I'm going to see if I can get, get a few down there. Look. Let's put this over here. You can see right woods on nice and secure. Look, and there's there's Carl balancing on the edge as he does, look. <laughs> look at this. Right. That's beautiful, but there's no shade there. That is intensely hot there. Okay, and once again, this is the bit to be careful on because uh, you fall over on here, it takes a chunk out of your legs, so it's probably best not to. I don't know why I make such tiny noises. I've been here too long, I think. What a glorious day for a hike in the Thai sunshine. Just number eight and nine to do now. I forget what they're called. I'm not walking over there to tell you either because I'm having a rest. So I think the next bit's gonna be the steepest bit. Already dripping in sweat, but it's it's been great so far. So let's get up there and check it out. Okay, we're on the other side of the mountain now. It's uh, mostly just bamboo forest. Kok Chang, this is Elephant Shed. In this area, very, very long ago, it was the residence of elephants with it was a high, dense forest down below. And the elephants used to live up here. Right here was a spot where they used to reside. Wow. Right, let me give you a slow pan, look. I wonder why I use the word precarious a lot in Thailand. This is why, look. Look, not more than 10 people, wood, not strong. <laughs> Yet we're over a gap of hundreds of meters high, look. Wood, not strong. 
Oh, cracks in wood. 100 kilos. A set of these dodgy rocks. People shooting at foreigners up on the mountain. <laughs> pre pre precarious. Well, this one's pretty up and downy, so it's definitely a good workout. Look, up to the last viewpoint. This last bit is definitely the toughest bit. Surely there's no more climbing now. <laughs> it's a really good trail. Pretty challenging in two or three spots, especially in the heat of the day. Um, but a good trail. A few slightly tricky spots, but nothing too difficult. Like this, look. I think this is the very last climb, look. To the Tong Sedi viewpoint. Let's have a look at this. Oh, that's splendid as well. Look. Show you the wood first, though, shall I? As usual. it out that we've obviously we started down there look we went through the forest up through here around here and I think we went up there back down here over there and we're literally five minutes outside of Chatham and as you know that's sort of 20 minutes 15 minutes outside of Huayin beautiful way to spend your day and do you know what this is free to get in so even if you're not in a in a mood to climb or do any exercise, you could just do the first three there and then relax in the gardens there. It would still be a, a lovely day out. Anyway, this is the section I love because I've done the difficult bits in the heat. I've got up to the top, I've seen the great views and... <laughs> now I'm on the way down. Beautiful. Not too arduous, that one. Beautiful little side trip if you're in Chatham or even indeed Huahin. Five minutes from Chatham. 15 minutes from Hua Hin. It's free to get in. Beautiful forest park. If people, some people aren't up for it in your group, leave them down there in a beautiful park and come and have a bit of exercise. You might see a few monkeys, a few lizards, but apart from that, you're just gonna see these great views. Beautiful. Well, as you can see, it is pretty steep, but, but there are stairs on this, so it makes it very, very doable. It's, uh, it's quite a workout in the sun, but, very enjoyable. I can almost smell that coffee shop now. Oh, and we're down. It took five, ten minutes to get down tops. Um, <laughs> isn't it funny how the mind works? The thought of doing something is always far more difficult than actual than actually doing the thing. I mean, we got here and I went, I looked up there and I went, nah. No, 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 no. We're not going right up there, surely, are we? But you know what? We've just been up. You see that peak there? There's a few trees up there. Just there. I don't know if my finger's in the right place or not. That's where we've been, just That there. was a most enjoyable wonder. I hope you enjoyed the wonder too. If you did, please consider liking and please, please comment. Just say anything. If you didn't like it, tell me you didn't like it and tell me why. If you did like it, maybe leave a comment there. Um, consider subscribing and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Peace.